All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start off with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot used to prime our eyes and this will reduce our eyeshadows from creasing. So I'm gonna be using the BH Cosmetics palette. I'm sorry they don't come with names so I mean as you can see on the screen I'll just be pointing out what color I'll be using. Um, but you guys can use I mean a similar color, it doesn't have to be exactly what I use. So I picked up a lighter shade of brown for my transition color and I'm using one of my e.l.f. brushes, very inexpensive brushes. Now we're going to use uh, more of a darker color, it's like a darker brown uh, from the MH Cosmetics palette as well. And we're just going to start um, from the outer corner going into our inner lid. Uh, we really want to blend blend so we don't have any harsh lines and it's a smooth transition from the first color that we use that's a little bit light to this one that's a little bit darker. Just so you can have a more smooth appearance. continue blending then I'm gonna get my fluffier brush that I always use as well from BH Cosmetics uh, blending brush and grab a little bit of a light pink from the BH Cosmetics palette and just start slowly building it from inner corner just on the uh, just on the lid and kind of start blending it with our brown then I'm gonna get a darker pink kind of build that on top as well um, you don't necessarily have to go super dark pink or so light Right here is where you, you would be able to adjust it to your liking. So with me, I always like things a little bit more darker. Um, but I mean, everybody has different preference. So I like to pack on the color so you can really, really see it. bit of a darker color it's like a maroon brown I'm just gonna add it at the outer corner bring it in towards the center to create a more defined eye tools and just go ahead and pack it on the outer corner as well bring it in outer corner to center and just blend the key the key is blending because you don't want to um, have any harsh lines you really want a smooth transition and if you blend all your colors nicely and really take your time do it in circles your shadows are really gonna come out nice you're gonna see um, a big difference more of a shimmer or kind of like glitter um, that I just put on my lid to make it appear a little bit more lighter and I just wanted to add a little bit of uh, shimmer to this look. So here I'm using the Rimmel London Nude 003 liner on my waterline. I wanted to go with something a little bit more softer, um, so I like to use uh, this nude liner. It's one of the best. It's only like probably four dollars at any drugstore. It's waterproof, smudge proof, and I love it. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with my favorite foundation, as you guys already know, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup, and using my Sephora um, foundation brush in uh, mineral powder brush as well in number 45 
just gonna apply it all over my face. Um, you can either pat it, I just kind of do it in circles to avoid all the harsh lines. Then I go in with my 10 color uh, concealer palette from BH Cosmetics and because I have dark circles, um, I use this to kind of conceal. Usually uh, any type of red, orange color under your eyes works best to correct dark circles. Now we're going to go ahead and use our Instant Age Rewind Eraser from Maybelline just to conceal our under eyes and you can use any flat brush. I use a pointed foundation brush from Real Techniques. set it and don't fret it. It's a matte finishing powder from NYX. Then we're going to contour just a little bit and I like to use the Fit Me 360. It's just a regular powder for a foundation uh, but I like it. I like how it kind of warms my face a little bit so I kind of use it to do with my cheeks, my forehead um, and a little bit on my chin. I like to apply a little bit of a peach color to my cheeks using my 10 blush palette from BH Cosmetics. Then we're going to start applying our lashes. I like to use the Duo Lash Glue and tweezers to apply them. I'm also using these lashes from Eyler London, number 22, and they're dramatic. lashes we give it about 30 seconds for it to dry a little bit or at least get a little bit tacky because if you put up your lashes on when there's the glue still a bit wet it's gonna just slide all over your lid and you don't want that then I'm gonna go ahead and use my NYX liquid suede lipstick in color soft spoken and you can use whatever color you would like also I'm gonna use a little bit of mascara and you can use your favorite one just to put it on the bottom lashes and then I like to put on my top lashes to kind of combine them with the falsies I just used. And to get blend everything together I just use the big fluffy brush that I have from Real Techniques. Again thank you, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and thanks for watching.